Hey everyone, Stan Caster Key with the Prime Driver Training Program here. Um, first off, I want to thank everyone for what you do. Um, you know, 2020, man, we learned a lot of things from 2020, didn't we? Uh, 2020 being perfect division, we know what we really don't want life to be like. Um, although with what we've experienced this year, I think we've all learned a lot of things and learned how to appreciate our loved ones and uh, family and, and just our job probably even more. Um, for those who have lost loved ones through this last year, whether it was from COVID um, or other situations, uh, I can tell you that our prayers and sympathies have gone out to you this last year. We've heard of a lot of different things that have happened. So being part of Prime's family, we, we uh, have grieved with you and we've had that sorrow with you. Um, I look forward to 2021. Uh, we've got big things coming up. You know, our recruiting department's doing a great job on um, getting people recruited to come in. Our training program's just gonna continue to grow. Uh, we have our three locations in Utah, Pennsylvania, and then here in Missouri. Um, so as we go through the process this year, I think we're gonna see great and tremendous things with our driver training program, but also with the growth of Prime. I first wanna thank Robert for his support and for what he does, for his entrepreneurial spirit, his vision, and um, just the vision to have created a driver training program, not only because that gives me an opportunity to have a job, but that I can also work with such tremendous people. Uh, Steve Larson, thank you for what you do every day. Um, it goes uh, without saying that this program would not be what it is uh, without you and your guidance and your influence uh, from the very beginning of this. Uh, I also want to give some shout outs to some other people, the support staff, and I'm going to say that it's our instructor and our trainer support staff at our three locations. Uh, of course, Linda Brown here in Missouri, uh, she sets with Steve down there and uh, she's just such a tremendous person and uh, she does such a tremendous job with our driver training program with getting people hired on and, and so many other functions that she does on the operational side. Uh, some of our in-house folks that I would like to recognize is David Meineke, who works in-house here in Springfield, George Niehaus, uh, Naomi Bruchner. Uh, also, we have Dee Sova, and a lot of you may know Dee Sova. Uh, she was telling me earlier uh, today that she has like 9,000 friends on Facebook. Um, that's a lot of friends. That, I, if we have a party with all of Dee's friends, we're going to have a lot of people there. Continuing with the thank yous in Pittston, uh, John Faulkner. John is one of our in-house associates there. Uh, John drove on the road here, and, and most of our associates have actually been drivers here at Prime and came in-house off of the road. So, John, thank you for what you do up there. Blake Meredith, who is one of our CDL examiners. The interesting thing with Blake um, is that, um, one, before I was a Prime, I was uh, involved in a driver training program. Blake actually got his CDL through that driver training program. Um, so we appreciate Blake, and we appreciate his hard work. Richard Brock, who is our assignment manager there in Pennsylvania and also does so many other things there. Richard, I truly appreciate you and your dedication and your hard work up there. Um, I wanted to talk about just some of our, um, what, what we did last year as far as numbers. So in 2020, we had 2,521 individuals who came through our driver training program and um, obtained their CDL. Uh, we were down about 16% over 2019. But, you know, I think 16% is, is um, okay because of uh, just the situation being what it was last year. Um, we couldn't do any of this work without our road drivers and our, um, our instructors and our trainers. So we thank you and I thank you for helping our new associates, those people who want to be professional drivers. Um, I, I appreciate your sacrifices. Currently, 60% of our fleet actually came through our driver training program. Along with that too, another thing that I am, am excited about, you know, with our Highway Diamonds program that we have here, uh, Brooke Mosley um, really helps to oversee that. Um, and then DeSova, who I just mentioned a minute ago, is very involved in that. Uh, about 15% of our fleet here at Prime is uh, female drivers. Compared to the industry, which is about 6%, I think Prime uh, we really care about all of our drivers, we care about our females, and we truly want to help um, them be successful. Uh, we're going to be interviewing a couple of folks here, uh, Myrna Muhaski and then Randy Walmack today. Uh, I think you're going to find their stories very interesting, and hopefully um, it's going to help those of you who have not, uh, who have been thinking about being an instructor or a trainer, maybe kind of help push you in that direction to realize how 
how gratifying um, that it can be to be an instructor and a trainer here at Prime. So I was a paralegal in Wisconsin in a DA's office for almost 20 years and I was kind of tired of my job and wanted something different. So I started looking at the federal job board and noticed that there was a lot of openings in the trucking industry and I figured, well, I probably can learn how to back it up. So um, I started doing a bunch of research and Prime was actually the company that had the best training program from the other companies that I had compared with. Um, they had a long, longer training time, they had the CDL school, a year commitment, which I was then going to have employment, and um, I just felt it was the best choice for me. So I planned for about a year, got my things in order, and um, I came here on July 16th of 2018. As a female coming into uh, the trucking industry, I was very concerned about several different things, my safety, um, how I was going to be able to back if I for sure was going to be able to get at my sureness of myself and being able to um, be safe and have not wreck things. And um, with the training that I got and with the help of fellow drivers and things like that, I, I really felt secure that it was going to be fine and I, I really have had pretty much a successful a lot of help from my male co-workers. Um, the safety issues that I find at uh, the truck stops really are um, if you're parked at the back part of the truck stop, sometimes you get in late, sometimes when you're first new that's the easiest place to go. Um, what I find that I do my pre-trip where I, I'm supposed to when I shut down, if it's dark in the morning when I'm getting up I might get to the fuel island, finish doing my pre-trip there in the morning before I even leave. Um, I try to keep my safety uh, paramount. Um, I don't get out of my truck unnecessarily. My windows are rolled up, the doors are locked. Um, but you know, make sure you have some hairspray sitting by the side of your truck, your truck seat. Make sure you have a little screwdriver or something if you need it. Get some wasp spray. There's a lot of different things that you can do to really create your own safety. The biggest thing is don't take your purse in walking into the truck stop. Um, don't make yourself a mark. Don't be on your phone looking like you're not paying attention. Look at everybody that's watching. There's always somebody in their truck that's watching you and utilize those people. They're very helpful. My background um, from my job previous to here is I was a legal advocate in a domestic abuse agency. And um, one of the things when uh, training was mentioned to me, I really didn't want to do it because, well, I like my privacy. Um, I really didn't have a desire to come back and try to figure out how to help other people get into the proper maneuvers, but then I realized that there was a way I could give back. I've always volunteered my time in different ways and I don't have time when you're on the truck for two, three weeks, four weeks at a time. But being able to give back and help other people um, achieve their goals, uh, achieve different directions of their life, provide for themselves. Um, economic freedom means that you don't have to rely on other people maybe starting from the bottom, it doesn't really matter. I've met people that have come from homeless shelters and, and they've done very well and they can be successful and they can change their circumstances. And so that's really why I do it, is helping people change their situation. You know, if you're considering training, um, I, would, I would really recommend giving it a try. If it works and you find that you're helping people and that you're making some extra money while you're helping other people, um, you know, I would really recommend trying it. I, if you don't know things, there are a lot of people out here on the pads that are more than willing to help you in um, fine-tuning the best way that you can to someone else and what, what you've learned. And um, I think it's a really good idea that if, if it's something that interests you, give it a try. So I started my career here at Prime in uh, January of 2008. A friend of mine, I had started working here a few years before that and he seemed very happy with the company and uh, so I started here as a solo driver. I had, didn't go through the training program here. I had already got my CDL before I began working at Prime. I've been, I had been driving already for about eight years before I started here and so I ran solo here for a couple of years. And then I was hearing a lot about the training program and decided I would check into that. And I've been doing it ever since. And it's uh, been very rewarding financially and also just helping the new drivers out, teaching them the ropes and how to, you know, the challenges that I know I faced that I pretty much had to learn on my own. 
I know it really helps out to have somebody with that experience to walk you through it, something that I didn't really have the luxury of when I first started. And so I, I remember that and try to do what I can to help them make the transition as easy as possible. One of the most memorable and uh, I think rewarding times as my time as a trainer here, last year I had, uh, um, I was working with a hearing, hearing impaired uh, student and uh, that was quite a unique challenge for me and but very rewarding I'm pretty sure he taught me a lot more than I taught him I was quickly trying to learn sign language he did a very good job teaching me and still working on it but it's got to say that the uh, guy did great he uh, passed his test no problem and that was definitely a very rewarding for me, just personally. That was a, quite an experience. So it was very rewarding seeing him come in uh, and upgrade, and now he's leasing a truck, and he's out on the road. And it, that was just uh, very rewarding for me to be able to help him through that time. And he still contacts me all the time, obviously through video chat or a text message. When I start to see former students of mine also out there on the pad, and now they've gone through the whole process, they've had their experience, and now they've decided to come in and they're out there teaching students. Um, just to see that and to know that I've helped them through the process and they've made it to that point to where they're able to share their knowledge and pass it on, and uh, that's what it's all about. It was a pretty good experience and it was great. I trained with Randy and he was really motivated to learn some signs, some sign language and was able to communicate with me during training and he was able to explain things to me while we were out on the road and what I needed to do like if we were down going down a grade or if we were going through town and if I was ever lost on something like the GPS would mess me up <laughs> then I would ask him to explain what I needed to do. And it really taught me a lot. And I really appreciated his time and his patience working with me because, you know, I am deaf and sometimes it can be hard working with a hearing person and a deaf person. And, but he was willing to learn some signs and that made me feel a lot more comfortable with him. I would really encourage any deaf people hearing impaired to come here to Prime, I would tell them, you know, it's a wonderful program for training here. And, you know, for me and Samuel Fernandez, we were both hearing impaired, and so and they really worked well with us. Sure. Um, I'd like to say to Randy, thank you so much for helping me out and teaching me how to drive on the road. And Now he'd be able to communicate with more deaf people and now <laughs> I'll be moving on. So first of all, I really wanted to say thank you and appreciate Prime being new here, that there was um, an opening for me and that people had a big heart working with me here at Prime and to help me be successful in the future and like to become a trainer in the future as well and teach other people myself and there's so many great trainers here and admin and supervisors everything was really wonderful and professional and I want to say thank you to my trainer as well Chad Chad was with me and Chad's got a big heart and also was learning signs and I learned a lot from Chad about safety, of driving on the road, and about weather conditions, and being able to communicate with different companies, and for shipping, shipping, receiving, vendors, things like that. And Chad really taught me how to be professional, and I wanna thank him for really everything, and for the patience working with me as well, knowing I can't hear, and sometimes driving at night, there'd be some challenges communicating, and 
working through that and I really just appreciated the patience and but uh, everything worked out to be really great and um, just want to uh, say some new people should come to Prime too. During just during the winter time can be more difficult. It's not as easy in the winter. And I know that driving such a big vehicle and I had never had experience driving uh, in my like this in my life and so I've learned a lot from my trainer. Before they come, should have motivation, the desire, and um, you know a good record for for their driving history and I would encourage them that they can do it and they can be successful like we've been able to be here. Okay. Hi everybody, my name is Chad, I'm a trainer with Prime and I was asked to do a video uh, to talk a few minutes about uh, what I enjoy about training, uh, some of the challenges that I've seen. Um, and I can tell you that uh, first thing is I really enjoy the training here at Prime and enjoy training people at Prime. I'm a very, very much enjoy teaching people, uh, especially about a skill that I'm very interested in and passionate about. Um, I enjoy teaching people how to back up and uh, you know drive safely down the road and and meet new people. Um, that's another thing. You know, I meet people from all over the country and some are even not even from this country. I've had a couple students that aren't even from the country uh, that have recently moved into our country or have been here for a while and have gotten their CDL and kind of gotten to learn their background and where they're from and it's been very interesting. Uh, one of the uh, last students I had though uh, was one of my most challenging ones and that is something I really enjoy uh, about the training as well is I love to accept a challenge. <clears throat> Challenges are, you know, what makes life interesting sometimes. And uh, the latest challenge that I had uh, on my last student was he was uh, hearing impaired. And when I mean hearing impaired, I mean completely, completely deaf, um, which was very interesting for me because I never, myself, has never learned sign language. Um, also, I never uh, taught anybody that was that was deaf. Um, I actually used to train horses before I was a truck driver. Um, so that's a little fun fact, interesting fact about me, uh, <clears throat> which I did train a few deaf children on how to ride. Um, it's a little bit easier than this. Uh, this is a lot larger scale. Uh, only difference is uh, you control this, not the horse. So, um, so it was interesting, especially learning, uh, trying to teach somebody how to back up uh, without being able to talk to them. Lots of hand signals, lots of uh, learning how to do sign language for myself, um, learning to communicate with him. Uh, but he has successfully completed his miles. He has now uh, he is now out on his own, uh, from what I understand from him, and uh, he's doing well and he enjoys this job. He was a very great guy. Um, I hope to have more students like him. I also hope to have many students from all all walks of life. Like I said, I really do uh, enjoy the training program here at Prime. I think it's one of the best. And uh, if uh, to any other trainers out there uh, that are, you know, kind of worried about something like that, you know, always accept the challenge. You know, you don't know until you try. So again, my name's Chad. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It's my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce the Instructor of the Year from Missouri, Daniel Cox. Congratulations, Daniel. It's my distinct honor to introduce the Rookie of the Year in Missouri, and that's Myrna Muhaski. Congratulations, Myrna. For the recipient of the Danny Gibbons Award, which is a very prestigious award here at Prime. Daniel was a great long-term driver. We loved him very much. And this award 
obviously is in his honor. In, in Missouri, that goes to Randy Womack. And one other Danny Givens Award this year, Robert, uh, is awarded to Chad McIntyre. Congratulations, Chad. That's a terrific honor. Danny Givens was a wonderful person. Rookie of the Year in Utah, Robert, this year is Michael Johnson. Congratulations, Michael. For Instructor of the Year in Utah, it's Scott Fisher. Let's go to Pennsylvania, Robert, what do you say? Instructor of the Year in Pennsylvania is Matthew Dam. And for Rookie of the Year this year in Pennsylvania, it's Caleb Lumpkin. Congratulations, Caleb. Okay, so now we get to kind of the, the big awards. Not that those aren't big, but refriger Refrigerated Trainer of the Year as Lease Operator, Mr. Lawrence Minton. Congratulations, Lawrence. And for Refrigerated Trainer of the Year, company, Charles Bonavita. Let's go to Tanker. Tanker Trainer of the Year, Mr. Robert Bender. Congratulations, Robert. And for Flatbed Trainer of the Year, William Dedman. And we all know how important these trainers are. They are our lifeblood. We thank you all very much for the effort and the education you give us uh, with our new drivers. So thanks so much for uh, fueling our growth for the coming years. You know, one other thing we should do. We should recognize our veterans, no matter what we do. We should always recognize our veterans. And congratulations to all our award winners. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Robert and Steve, I want to thank you for taking time out today from the Driver Advisory Board meeting that we're having uh, to make these important announcements. Uh, drivers and, and those that are out there on the road, thank you for your commitment to Prime and thank you for your commitment to our driver training program. For those of you who um, have considered becoming an instructor or trainer, uh, we would welcome you to engage in this program. It's so gratifying to be able to help others become professionals. And the way to become an instructor or a trainer will be to contact your flea manager. They will work you through the process of how you can help others become successful.